Okay, first thing I want to do is just correct yesterday's assignment on the section 5.3, interpreting and sketching graph assignments. So we're going to take a look at question number one. It says each point on this graph represents a person which two people are the same age. So you can see down here on the x-axis is representative of the age. So we're going to look for ones that have the same age. So that would be E and D, and they are 16. Okay, so you should have had C there, so correct your work. Each point on the graph represents an animal. Which animal has the least mass? So we're looking here on the y-axis for the least mass. This is going up by tens. And you can clearly see that animal A is the one that only is 20 kilograms and all the rest are larger than that. So your answer there should have been B. Okay, Josh went for a bike ride. For part of the ride, Joshua starts to, stops to play with a friend, okay? So distance from home and time okay so here he's bike riding you can know this because he's getting further away from home he's five kilometers away from home but then this remains five kilometers so that's obviously the point where he has stopped because he's not and then he's returning home here so bc should have been your answer there okay same question about josh's bike ride which statement best describes what's happening for section de so DE, we just talked about it in the last one. It looks like Josh is returning home because when we get down to here, okay, he is zero kilometers from home, okay? So he went on an almost a two-hour bike ride. So answer there should have been D. Okay, question five, same question. We're just still talking about Josh's bike ride. During the ride, he stops to play at a park. How much time did Josh spend at the park? So that's what he was doing here, was stopping at the park. So here we're at about 45 minutes. And here we're at about 95 minutes. So 95 minus 45. And I tell myself this every year when I use this question, okay? There isn't a correct answer here. So that's my fault. Should have been around 50-ish minutes. Okay, a person drives away from stop sign, cruises at a constant speed, then slows down. Okay, so cruises at a constant speed. This is just up and down. This is they shoot like a rocket and then stop on a dime. So that's not gonna work either. So this one, they speed up, instantly slow down. So that's not gonna work. There's no cruising at a steady, steady speed. So this one here is the builds up speed, cruises at a constant speed and slows down. So that should have been graph D. I'm sorry that my photocopying is not very good either here. Okay, this graph shows the height of a tide in a harbor. Uh, which statement best describes the tide at point C? So at point C, the tide is approximately four meters high. So that's what your answer should have been there, D, okay, at C. Okay, question number eight says, this graph shows the free fall speed of a skydiver as a function of time, about how long did the skydiver's jump last? So from here, okay, this is all still part of the dive, or the dive until they get here, so it's about 63 seconds. This graph shows the free fall speed of a skydiver, which statement best describes what's happening in line B, C. Now this is interesting here, okay, because some people say um, that they landed on the ground, but that is not true. So you have to think about this, okay? This is the point right here where they leave the airplane and they build up a tremendous amount of speed when you first fall out of that airplane, okay? Um, you are falling quickly and then you you reach the maximum speed that you're gonna, that you're gonna fall at. And then BC, you can see you're at about 140 kilometers per hour and you slow down to around 20 kilometers per hour. So what happened there is you didn't, you're not, you're not done, but you pulled the chute, right? You opened up your parachute. And when you open up your parachute, if you've ever seen that on television, I'd be too scared to actually try this myself. Okay. But you slow down very, very quickly. Okay. So that's what happened there is they opened up their parachute and therefore their speed decrease greatly all right gail's leaving her house for a morning jog okay so she stops for a quick drink then she continues jogging before um stopping again to chat with a friend and then she jogs all the way back home okay so this one here shows the stopping but then that's just like a massive distance with no time being used so that one's not working this one shows that gail started like distance from home so that's not working this one here though, so she jogs a little bit, she stops for a drink, she jogs a little bit more, she stops with a friend, chat with a friend, and then she jogs all the way back home. 
So that best describes Gail's run right there. Okay, so take a look, correct your work. Um, remember that there's tutorial this afternoon at one o'clock, so you can pop in. Uh, I am gonna do another quick little video here. I just wanna go over function notation again.